Culture or a Macroway. Well, there's Mike G on the CSE. Billy J getting down with the VBA. Oh my, it's a dueling XL guy. Stand by, it's a dueling XL guy. Yeah. Mama, it's dueling XL time. Live from Highline College, it's time for Dueling Excel. I'm Bill Jellin from Mr. Excel. I'll be joined by Mike Gervin from Excel is Fun. This is our episode 177. Add the numbers that are missing. All right, today's question sent in by YouTube. Has some data that should be duplicates. There should be seven values of each of these, but sometimes some of them are missing. So we want to find which ones are missing and total those up. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to select this data. We're going to create a pivot table. Insert pivot table. I'm going to go to an existing worksheet and just put it right out here to the right. Choose OK. There we are. Numbers down the left-hand side. Beautiful. And then I'm going to take numbers and drag it to the values area. Now that comes out as a sum. I need to change that here to field settings and get accounts. All right. Now what should happen is we should have seven of every one of these. So to add the ones that are missing, we're going to take the number, the 125 times 7 minus, and did you see I got to get pivot data there? So instead of clicking it with the mouse, I'm going to actually type D8. That way it is a formula that I can copy down. Double click to copy that down at the very bottom there. We want to do Alt equals, and the numbers that are missing add up to 2,100. There we go. Mike. Let's see what you have. Woohoo! That was awesome. A pivot table and a formula off to the side. Well, I'll tell you what, that is going to be a little bit more palatable and easier than the formula I was thinking. Uh, I'm going to come off to the side here and uh, say total missing. And I first need to do what Mr. Excel did here and get a unique list or a unique count in essence. So I'm going to use the frequency function. And the Ooh. trick for frequency, well, first off, is it, it only works on numbers. But if I put the same array into data and bins, I will get a unique count just like this. So for the data array, control shift down arrow, control backspace to jump back to the active cell. And then the same bins, control shift down arrow, com control backspace. Now let's evaluate this with F9 and check it out. And sure enough, well, it's not quite as convenient as over here, but 7, 6, 5, we can see that right there. Hey, I'm going to notice that any positive number or any non-zero number will be recognized by the if function as true, and the zeros will be false, so Control-Z. I'm going to put that resultant array into the if, and then for value if true, I'm going to highlight the same range, Control-Shift-Down-Arrow, Control-Backspace. The problem is, is that frequency always spits out one more answer than the number of bins. So I'm going to extend this to 79 so I don't get a, an error when I match up all of these trues and falses to these values. And now I'm simply going to multiply by 7. Now even though we have a bunch of resultant zeros, that will in essence, when I F9 to highlight it, it gives me the 875. 1, 2, 2, 5, et cetera. That's the total so far. Now I need to add that, so I'm going to use the sum function. We are going to have to use Control Shift Enter. Now remember, this is adding all the numbers with sum missing. So now if I need the difference, I'm going to subtract simply the sum. There's no sum function, so I'm going to change that to the sum function. And I'm going to add up all the values over here. Control Shift Down Arrow, Control Backspace. And hopefully, if I Control Shift Enter, boom, there it is. Now, if you didn't want to do Control Shift Enter, I'm wondering, uh, we could actually take the inside part here. I'm thinking maybe some product. I'm, whoops, I'm going to put a P. Control V. I want some product to multiply the two arrays, which is in essence what I did here. But this frequency won't quite work. I need to say, are any of you greater than zero? Close parentheses. That'll give me a bunch of trues and falses. So I'm going to convert them to zeros and ones with a double negative. And I'm thinking that might add F2. 
I hope this works. And then sum of all of this, control shift down arrow, control backspace. And maybe this one won't require control oh, shift there you go. enter. All right, throw it back to Mr. Excel. That is absolutely crazy. All right, a couple of different ways to go. The benefit of yours is it is always going to work. If we would add an extra data point or get rid of a data point, uh, it will continue to recalculate. You would have to redo mine or at least refresh the pivot table over and over. Yeah, but the pivot table and extra column is pretty easy. If it was a one-time thing or a once-a-week thing, that's the way I'm going to go. All right. Well, hey, join us next next time for another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel. And Excel is fun. Woohoo!